This demonstration shows how to use defibrillator safely and effectively without adhesive pads. First, be familiar with defibrillator. Defibrillators have following parts. Pedals with discharge buttons on their handles. Wires connecting the patient. Screen with real-time electrical signal. Energy selection dial. Synchronization button and large charging button at side of screen. And lead selection and scale buttons at lower margin of screen. When operating the defibrillator, make sure you are safety by wearing gloves. Switch it on by turning the dial pad. Make sure to turn it to monitor position rather than AED that is automated electrical defibrillator position. If you turn it to AED, it will start prompting you assuming availability of adhesive pads as follows. But this demonstration is without pads. For that, it need correctly turn to monitor with one jump from off position. Change monitoring route. As a standard, when it is switched on to monitor, it select pedals to monitor the patient. That is, if you keep pedals on the patient, it starts monitoring the patient. You can notice this on the screen by appearing the word pedal. But here, our aim is to monitor the patient through leads, in other words, with wires. Connect red wire to right shoulder, yellow to left shoulder and green at apex of heart. Now you have to monitor through wires. For this, press lead button. If you press two times, lead 2 will appear on the screen and it starts monitoring lead 2. Changing the scale. If signal is weak, make it, it difficult to read, press scale button till you get the optimum wave size on the screen. Stop disturbing the signal. When lead is selected and scale corrected, defibrillator is ready to monitor the patient. If rescue is massaging the patient, ask him to stop massaging and try to analyze the waveform. Decide whether it's shockable or not and ask the rescuer to continue massaging. Prepare for shocking. If the rhythm is shockable, now you have to prepare both the defibrillator and the patient for shocking. Make others away and oxygen away. Select the energy by turning dial to required energy level that is 150 joule at first attempt. Press charge button to make it charged. Apply electroconductive jelly over apex and right clavicle. When charging completed, it starts alarming as follows. Ask massaging rescuer to take hands off. Take one pedal and keep it at apex. Take the other pedal and keep it below the right clavicle. Look around the table to check anyone touching the patient or table. Check the same rhythm persists on the monitor. Press both pedals firmly to the patient and shock the patient by pressing both discharge buttons simultaneously. Immediately ask the rescuer to restart massaging. Keep both pedals on the defibrillator. Continue CPR for another 2 minutes before assessing the rhythm again. For reassessment, you don't have to turn energy selection dial back to monitor position. It will monitor the patient at turn position. For next shock, you need maximum energy level. Therefore, you may turn it to the maximum energy level and wait for 2 minutes of CPR. Now we will be showing the same process in real time. It's a cardiac arrest. Please continue to massage. Please come and handle the airway. I am connecting the leads. Switching on the monitor, selecting the lead that is lead 2 and selecting the sensitivity. Now the monitor is ready. 
please stop massaging for a brief period. It's PF. It needs shocking. Please restart massaging. Selecting the energy that is 150 joules. Charging. Applying jelly. Hands away. Free flow of oxygen away. Continue to massage. It's charged. I'm going to shock. Hands away. Applying one pad at a time. Second, looking around. No one is touching the patient. Same rhythm. Shock. Please restart massaging. Restart ventilation. Continue to CPR for another two minutes. 